Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Woot, woot. Um, I just got out of two hours of LA traffic coming home from the shoot I was on today. But we're here and we're ready to go, even though it's a little later than I wanted it to be. But Geeky Heart already made a donation. Thank you, Geeky Heart. Jeff Miss, welcome back. Thank you for the resub. Um, folks, today we are going to be... I bought a little Valentine making craft kit. Today we're going to be making Valentines for hospitalized children as part of Gamers Out uh, as part of Gamers Outreach. I can talk today. Hearts and Crafts campaign. So I just thought a Hearts and Crafts was the cutest name for a charity campaign. And Gamers Outreach already does great work bringing hospitalized children a little bit of normalcy through play. So they make go karts, Gamers Outreach G O carts. Um, that are perfectly made for hospitals to wheel in little gaming setups to kids so that they can have some what's essentially play therapy. It's awesome. So if you want to know a little bit about what they do, uh, I do have really quickly a little tiny video that I can show you while I finish eating my Kind Bar, which is the only thing I've eaten all day. So here we go. <laughs> but this is who we're raising money for today. Here we go. Child deserves a chance to be themselves. But right now, in hospitals around the world, many kids are isolated, fighting some of the most difficult battles of their lives. What if we told you gamers have the power to help? We're Gamers Outreach, and we believe the world is better when kids can play. Our team is on a quest to help make play a part of care. With your support, we can restore a sense of joy and normalcy in the lives of families through video games. Learn more and get involved at gamersoutreach.org. Woohoo, Gamers Outreach! Sorry, I'm still chewing my kind bar. <laughs> you got crinkle ASMR because I was opening this. So. I'm going to set up my other camera so that we'll have a top down for the crafting. But yay for all the great work Gamers Outreach does. We've partnered with them before. They're amazing. Um, have returned. Let's see. If you follow me on Twitter and don't have the means to donate today but you want to be involved, then go ahead and feel free to share or retweet, or respond, or like to the tweet that I'm putting in chat. Just spread the word. I put the goal today at $750, and there's a couple different rewards that I built into today's stream. So, thank you so much for the bits, KP Dubs. You're amazing, and I appreciate you. All right, let's see. Of course, Tiltify is like, you need to log back in. I don't care that you were logged in this morning and thought you had everything set up, ma'am. Do it again. Do it again while you're live. Why not? Here we go. Because I want to tell you all the different rewards. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop it. Thank you for the donations, by the way. It looks like a couple of people have already donated. I appreciate you so, so much. Okay. So, here are what we've got going on. For $75 donation, you can sponsor one of these Valentines, which means I will write your name or gamer tag on one of these Valentines that I'm going to make on stream, and that will be from you to a hospitalized child, uh, which Gamers Outreach lovingly said that they will deliver those for us, which is great. Um, but some of the things that Gamers Outreach does, like we talked about the go-karts, for $30, you can get a new controller for a go-kart. For $60, you can buy a new video game for a go-kart. For $100, you can buy a new monitor for a go-kart. Uh, for $300, you can buy a new console for a go-kart. And uh, for $500, you can get a go-kart pit stop, which means there's already a go-kart working in that hospital, but it needs a bit of an update or a refresh. That kind of gives a pit stop refresh uh, to repair go-karts that are currently in use. And a brand new go-kart from start to finish, costs about $3,500. I think last time we did a charity stream for Gamers Outreach, we, just the Dragon Riders, 
raised enough for a full go-kart. It was wild. Now that day I had way more time to stream than I do today. So I, like I said, I set our donation goal a little bit more modest given the circumstances. Hello to you in the Philippines. Who's that air? Welcome, welcome. Beertastic Yogi, good to see you. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, so I've got the donation goal up there. Thank you, my face and Jeff and Geeky Heart. Looks like my face just bought a controller for a go-kart. Says thanks for doing uh, this, str this stream. Geeky Heart bought a Valentine. Uh, and it looks like, did Chris just buy a Valentine too? You did. Okay, uh, Chris, let me know. Uh, Geeky Heart, do you want me to do your Valentine from Geeky Heart? Like, let me know who you want it to be from because I'll write it on there. Let me see. Do I have my Sharpie in here? Mm-mm-mm. I might have to run and get my Sharpie. Oh, I've got a pen. We'll see if that works. I feel like one, may, and you know what? I might have to wait till the paint dries to put the name on it anyway. So let's see. Let's see how this works. I might be horrible at this craft. They might not be any good. I have no idea. But I figured, you know what? It's the thought that counts, right? It's the thought that counts. Okay, so here's what I've got. Sorry, everything is falling all around me because my day, I was supposed to be done my photo shoot at 2.30. I gave myself an hour to get home and then a half hour to set up the stream. Ha, 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 Trisha. Joke's on you, LA traffic, you never get anywhere in an hour. Instead, I sat in two hours of traffic and rolled into stream a half hour late. So there it is. I'm going to use this. I need to stand that up. And let's see what we've got going over here. All right, so the Valentines that I bought to give to kids in the room are like these little monsters that we can paint. So there's... This guy, ooh, very cute. There's this monster, because I thought these would be fun little things to hang in their hospital rooms even after Valentine's Day. This guy, real cute too. We also have this friendo right here. Sorry, I don't know why my camera's like having such a hard time with white balance, I'll have to fix it. And then we also have Oh man, are there, oh, these are like little stickies to stick it on the window. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side for now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this little guy's sticking his tongue out. He's pretty funny. He's pretty funny. They can also be Christmas tree ornaments. That's true, look, because they have the hole at the top, so they could be Christmas tree ornaments too. All right, I am going to fix, I don't know why my uh, webcam is so dark right now. I'm going to fix it real quick because it's a little strange and I don't love that. It seems a little blue and a little dark. So let's go ahead and uh, what do you think about maybe like that. That looks better. And white balance right about there. Just fixing it on the fly. No big deal. Okay, here we go. You remember painting these types of things as a kid? They were fun. Oh, good. And yeah, look, I have, the, it came with little string and little beads as well. If we want to incorporate that. Um, so yeah, I guess you put like the string through, put little beads on it, and then maybe that's what hangs on the little suction cup thingy. That makes sense. That makes sense. Brandon, welcome back. Good to see you. But yeah, so let's see. We've got two already to make. Thanks to Geeky Heart and Chris Bray. So let's see. We'll do... This guy has three hearts. This little friendo. So maybe we'll paint him first. How's everybody's day been going today? How's your Valentine's been? Looks a little like hard animation cells. I could see that. And also, look how many paint brushes there are. This is like, you know, for like a kid's elementary school class. I'm going to get out one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And I'll pull this out just a little bit so we can see a little bit more. I'm only going to open one of the paints and hope I don't make a super mess out of my desk. But, you know, you never know. 
You never know, really. Uh, folks, thank you. We've already raised $190 towards our goal. Appreciate you so very much. But yes, I had a photo shoot this morning for Amazon. Of course, now I'm not going to be able to open any of these. Dante says we don't talk about Valentine's Day just like Fight Club. No! Valentine's Day is about spreading love however you want to spread love. Like, we are spreading love and good cheer to hospitalized kids right now. Like, it's just a, an excuse to be kind to other people. That's how I think about it. I gave my mom and dad Valentine's today. Why? Okay, if I turn this upside down to open it to get the leverage I need, this paint is going to go everywhere. I don't trust myself. Like, I don't know how else to open this. This is a disaster already. All right. How can we do this? Oh, Lucas, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. Can I spread some well-rested brain cells because I'm always tired? You can. I wonder if I should go get, like, a butter knife or something to, like, pry this open. What do I have? I could use my box cutter to try to pry these open. Just, you know, things in my house. There we go. That's the move. Look at me being resourceful. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is half the battle right here. <laughs> Lucas says, I can't stay long. Happy Valentine's, everyone. Let's rock this charity. So rad. Everyone have a wonderful night. Thank you just for stopping in, Lucas. I really appreciate it. I know it's later than normal, so I totally understand if, like, where you are, it's bedtime or you have, like, dinner or homework responsibilities you got to take care of. I get it. So, all right, I'm going to guess this is pink, red, yellow, white. We've got purple and blue. Not cutting boxes with a box cutter. How dare you? You know, I always have a bunch of boxes to take care of as well. But yeah, my heart always goes out to kids that are dealing with illness because I feel like that's a really hard and scary thing for grown-ups to do. It's even scarier for kids. Um, so if you can give them a couple hour reprieve by letting them play some video games, I'm all about that life. All right, Geeky Heart, I know you love purple. So since this is yours, I'm going to make this a purple monster. I'm going to make this guy a purple monster in honor of Geeky Heart, who donated to sponsor the first Valentine. So we've got a purple. We'll do a little bit more. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in here. I feel like I should get a white piece of paper to put under this so you can see what I'm doing because I feel like it doesn't show up very well on the black. But Okay, we've got a purple monster right up here. Maybe we'll do blue, maybe like blue hair, and, oh no, I did the wrong one, ah! <laughs> I told you I wasn't gonna be very good at this. Um, you know what, let's, I, I want the blue eye. We'll do the blue eye and blue hair. <laughs> it's funny, I think a lot of the other streamers participating in Hearts and Crafts are like, actual artists and like people that their stream is normally a crafting stream mine is not but i thought it would be relaxing and fun and a nice thing to do okay so we're just shifting gears and doing blue now blue there blue there blue there and you know maybe we'll just have a little bit of blurple here on this side Okay, this is now, I wanted this to be my purple paintbrush, but this is now my blue paintbrush, and it's just going to have to stay like that. Okay. A one-eyed, one-horned, giant purple huggable creature. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go back over this part with blue. Like I said, he's just going to be a little blurple on this side. And we love a, a blurple monster. Boop. Here we go. Really, really going for the the purple on this side to cover it up to cover up my mistake there it is but I thought a monster would be fun to hang in your hospital room window see the light come through in the different colors right okay so 
So let's do Geeky Heart. What color would you like the hearts to be on your Valentine out of the color palette we have here? What would you like it to be? Oh, monsters. Ooh, a murder mystery at a science center sounds awesome, Lucas. And you run. That's amazing. Red would be perfect, says Geeky Heart. Okay. Red for the hearts on your monster. Great, great, good. Okay, and here are his arms. I like that his little arms almost look like a half a heart. Very festive, very appropriate. But yeah, let me know what you... Lucas, that sounds awesome. A murder mystery date for Valentine's Day. Call your parents for Valentine's Day if you have parents that you are speaking to, if you're able to call them. I always try to call my mom on Valentine's Day. Okay. Now he needs a different color pants too. So he's going to have a purple body. So funny that they sell this for kids. I'm like, me as an adult is having hard time, a hard time with this. But to be fair, I'm not a very artistic adult, generally. Although any of the streams we've done that have been like Legos or anything like that have been really fun really just nice like I'm like should I start buying some adult coloring books just for streams I can't promise artistic prowess but I can promise a nice relaxing time the Lego streams have been fun oh good Colin that makes me happy here we go. Okay. So we've got our monster. Uh, let me get the red for the hearts. And then we need to figure out what color we want the pants to be. M Stuff says, I'd watch a chit chat and color stream. Potato peeling was an art when we did that, y'all. Oh, Vegeta, thank you so much for your donation. You also sponsored a Valentine. Thank you. All right, let's do. We're gonna do a red heart right here in the middle. Red heart for Valentine's Day. Maybe we'll make all the hearts red. I'm thinking maybe white pants. What, it, what color do you think for white pants maybe? And we'll do a new monster for the other two uh, Valentines that have already been sponsored. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that is our red paintbrush. White teeth, says Vega Scott. Okay, I like that. Hi, DJ Davey. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you. All right, white teeth. White monster teeth. That's great. Trying to just get like the tiniest little bit on the brush. This one, this tooth has like a chip in it. There we go. Okay, there's and the white teeth are so cute. <laughs> Maybe we'll do white fingernails too. We're just gonna do all the like tiny bits in white. Because he's got these little fingy, these little fingy nails. Okay. Okay, we've got the white nails and the white teeth. Hi, Texas! Ah, uh, <laughs> Texas, I'm doing well. How are you? We're making Valentine's Day a uh, little crafts for kids in hospitals today and raising some money. 
Normally on my, Texas, I don't know if this is your first time here, but normally on my channel we play video games. But today is something a little different. Eyeball white, maybe? You are more than blessed. I love to hear it, Texas. Happy Valentine's Day to you. All right, let's see. We could do... I still feel pretty good about maybe white pants. Let's do pink inside of the mouth. Trying really hard not to get it in the white teeth. Maybe I should have done the pink before I did the white teeth. <laughs> Maybe that would have been a smart way to go about it. It's funny that the white is like kind of pasty and the others are a little see-through, right? Okay. So yeah, let's do, I don't know where I'm feeling about the yellow. So I think maybe white pants is still the way to go. Unless we wanna do, you did Build-A-Bear when you were 40, Yertle? I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm deciding blue pants. Blue pants on our friend here, cause I think it'll look prettier shining through a window to have blue pants than white pants. Like the white would look pretty on my dark mouse pad right now, but as far as like whichever kiddo gets this, I want it to make colors come into their room. That's the goal. At least these paint brushes are small. So you can like get in the the areas here. Uh, Zion says, I remember doing this, not with so many brushes. Dang, good luck, have fun. Thanks. I'm gonna need a little bit more color on this leg because it's starting to dry out. And then we'll do the rest of this boot. Okay. That looks pretty good. We still haven't done do we want to do like the whites of the eye? I guess we could do the whites of the eye. And we need another color, maybe yellow for right up at the top there. We don't have any other yellow on this one. What if the kid who gets this one is like, my favorite color is yellow. We need to get some yellow in there. Right up at the top, they're like monster ears. Okay. Looking good, looking good. And we'll do the whites of the eye. I'm gonna do that, I think, a little bit more subdued, not quite such a bright white. Just a little bit more. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Here we go. Get in the corners there. All right, Geeky Hearts Valentine Monster. Woo, woo, woo. All right, we're gonna set him over to the side to dry a little before I try to make anything else, but ooh, thank you, Geeky Heart. Now we're backlit for the effect. I don't have, I, here, where's my, Thank you so much, I love it. Yay, here we go. I'll get my flashlight. Oh, you can't really, it's not, okay. We'll wait till it dries a little bit. But I'm gonna set that right back here. We've got one friendo, good, yes I am, listening to the three body problem for those of you who are like, ooh, what's on Trisha's Audible? That's what it is. I hope some child loves it too. All right, Chris Bray and Vegeta 25ers, you get the next two. So let's see. We could do Chris, Chris or Vegeta in chat. Do you want tongue stick out monster, holding a heart monster, or big smile monster? Ambrose! Ambrose just got a new video game for a go-kart. Thank you, Ambrose. 
So yeah, Vegeta or Chris, let me know if you want Tongue Stick Out Monster, Hold a Heart Monster, or Big Smile Monster for your Valentine. Let me know. The other thing I want to say, because I know that um, people that just want to, Vegeta says Big Smile Monster. Okay, you got it. Big Smile Monster it is. Um, because people always want to know a little bit more about the charity they're donating to. Uh, not only does Gamers Outreach do the go-karts, which is amazing, they also have a program called Player Two. And Player Two is a program where gamers can volunteer at hospitals to solve minor tech support problems, help distribute equipment, and play games with patients, which is just really sweet and lovely. So Gamers Outreach does that program. They also have a program called Save Point. Um, where save points themselves are high-tech vending machines that distribute stuff from toys, game codes, fun swag items uh, from some of Gamers Outrage's industry partners, and it's these vending machines that exist in hospitals. So as kids visit a hospital and progress through treatment, they're able to stop by a save point on their way home collecting free gear and loot along the way. So that's really awesome as well. Uh, Vegeta, you said you like Big Smile Monster. Vegeta, what color should we make your monster or colors? Maybe you want your monsters, your monster to be two different colors. Yeah, give me two different colors because you might want like the horns and the toenails and the eyes one color or something like that. Let me know. Can this one be checkered, says Iridal. Well, it's up to Vegeta or Chris Bray what you want. Also, Fate Photo and Raptor Blade. Thank you for the resubs. Mmm. Blue, yellow, and white. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Starting off with some yellow here at the top. We'll do yellow there. Also yellow stripe on the horns. The middle stripe on the horns will be yellow. We'll also do some yellow over here. You said blue, yellow, and white. Okay. I love his big smile. It's so cute. I hope it is able to brighten someone's day. Okay. Mm -mm. Now let's see. We'll do another yellow one right here. I feel like I'm not using enough paint. Another yellow one here. How about also here? The heels will be yellow just for symmetry. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Mm, okay, and then we'll do Okay, good, good. Now we're gonna do some blue. The blue and the yellow look really pretty next to each other. That was a good call. Do the blue there, blue there. <clears throat> we could do white in between. Let me put a little bit more blue in here. Okay, 
We'll do white on that one. Maybe blue and white again there. Oh, well, some of our yellow needs to be redone, I'm noticing. Mm. Okay, let me go back. And we'll do... Fixing this yellow over here. There we go. We'll do some white. Might have to really put a lot on and let it dry. I know. Bye, Driss at me. Have a good rest of your day. The white paintbrush that I'm using has like, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like this little offshoot that's driving me crazy. I'm like, don't mess it up. I might have to get a new brush for white. I might have to fire this, this white brush. Right up in there. Yeah, the white's like a different kind of paint than the other colors. It's like a thicker, more pasty consistency. Okay, we've got that there, we'll do this little bit here and this part here, okay, get in the sides there. here maybe I think we'll also do this part of the arm right here that part of the arm can also be white oh I got a little bit out of the area no okay and then maybe just under the big smile here. Mm, I don't like that. That seems like too much white next to each other. But really any color we do there is gonna be too much white next to each other. So let me just, I'll skip. I'll go over to the feet for now. Maybe we'll do a different color for the mouth. We're probably going to do white teeth, yeah? Vegeta, you're building a race car? Yo, that's cool. Speaking of makers and crafting. Okay. So we're going to do white teeth. Okay. Now let's go back. I think white for the base of these horns too. Okay. And then we're gonna go back to blue for a little bit. The top of the horns is gonna be blue. And this part of the arm is gonna be blue. Okay, got that. Looks like I need to fill in a little bit more blue paint in some of these spots that are like drying a little. Mm, 
We have to decide. I think maybe blue toenails could be fun. We have to decide what color this big, like, stomach dot in the middle is going to be. Do we want to bring another color into it or keep it all the same motif? Happy Valentine's Day, Chai Town! I could put a piece of paper underneath. Here, let me grab one. I've got paper. Let's see. Where's my printer paper? My extra printer paper just hanging out in here somewhere. Or here, just I'll take it right out of my printer. There we go. Okay. I'll fold it up too so it's not taking up so much room. Maybe red eyes. Okay, red or pink belly for sure. Okay, and maybe red eyes. Red eyes could be cool. Here you go. So now you can see the colors pop a little better. So maybe we'll do... We'll do pink again for the inside of the mouth. There we go. He's just saying hi. He's just a happy monster, like saying what's up. Yertle says, ooh, ah. I thought the red eyes would be like slightly demonic and terrifying, but I actually like them. I don't think they're too scary. They're like a little bit scary, but some kids like scary stuff. My son, for example, is like really into stuff that freaks him out a little bit. So we'll do a red tongue. And then maybe a pink belly. Back to the pink here for the tummy. There we go. All right, I know Chris donated and may have left, or your Twitch name is different than your Tiltify name. Either is fine. Uh, so I'm gonna make some decisions for you because it looks like Vegeta's monster, Valentine. Ooh, ah. Hi, Tommy. Vegeta, it looks so nice. This is your Valentine. Vegeta says it does look way better. It does. Okay. We've got Vegeta and Kiki Hearts. Chris, yours is coming next. And oh my goodness, we got a new donation. Joker Joe just bought a new monitor for a go-kart with your donation. Thank you so much, Joker Joe. Folks, that's so exciting. That brings our donation total up to, let's see, Sorry, I'm going to have to do it on my other computer because my thing just froze. I hope the whole stream didn't freeze for you. Did the whole stream freeze? It did. Oh, no. So silly. Let's see. I'm not frozen. Okay, great. Are stream streaks still a thing? I think they are. Okay, good. I'm glad the stream is fine at least. So let me just go ahead and see. Our donations are up to $425 raised. Thank you, everybody. That's amazing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, great. Dinah was sleeping again. You just got the notification. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so let's see. For Chris's, for Chris's, let's do a monster we haven't done yet. We could do this tongue stick out monster. I think he's real cute. And I'm just gonna randomly start picking some colors. Okay, let's do maybe red. Well, there we go. My Chrome just uh, 
decided to restart itself. That's what happened. The stream is still fine. It looks like a furry Mike Wazowski. It kind of does. Here, let's give him red hair. He's going to have like a cool red furry. I guess it's not really a mohawk. A cool red hair. Hey, Gamers Outreach is in chat. Hi, friends. Thank you for all the awesome work that you do. Joker Joe gifted a sub to Gamers Outreach. Thank you, Joker Joe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gamers Outreach, thank you for everything you do for the kids. We love it. We're making these little monster guys today uh, for kids in hospitals to hang up in their rooms. So we're, I mean, they, some of them are a little more Valentine themes than others. Like some of them have, this guy's holding a heart. This guy has a couple hearts, but there's all different types and people can sponsor Valentine's today. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, you know what, folks, since you said it's like a furry Mike Lazowski, We'll add some blue in on this guy. Here we go. Boop. Boop. Well, this piece of paper was also a good idea so that if I get messy, it's not getting all over my mouse pad. <laughs> Here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Zio says, wasn't he green? You're so right. I was thinking of Sully. I don't have a green, though. I guess I could mix yellow and blue to make green if we wanted to. Oh, I hear my son's home. I heard a funny guy just come in. But yeah, we could mix yellow and blue to make green because there's no specific green in this kit. Let's go for it. I'm getting out another paintbrush. This is going to be green. This is going to be the green one. So I'm going to take yellow. Ooh, look at that. And now we can mix it all up to make it green. It's kind of like a, almost like a green tie-dye at this point. I'm kind of into it. That's fun. There we go. I, uh, for Valentine's Day this year, I got my son, Logan, a very oversized stuffed lobster. <laughs> and his Valentine's card said, I lobster you very much. Because that's the kind of parent I am, y'all. <laughs> Okay, let me mix some more. Ten out of ten pun, you like it? Drop in some more yellow up in here. We could do like a yellow eye right in the middle. I like that. Then this is my green mix brush. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's like our bluey green for that part of the body. And then here we'll also do some, uh, I'm going to put the green just off to the side over here. 
Maybe we could do... Very punny, says Humble Sage. I try to be the fun kind of parent. Mm. Did you guys hear the get booped? I didn't hear it. Hold on. I want to hear it again. Mm-mm. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Takes just a second. Get booped. Mmm. Thank you, Zio Alexo. Hopefully they should all be working now. Sorry about that frequency punch. And everybody else. Here, we're going to do a pink tongue. Cute. And let's do maybe a white of the eye again. Zio Lexo said that was probably the most dragon scales I had so far. No way. Zio Lexo, I see you in chat all the time. What else have you spent your dragon scales on? Okay, there's the white of the eye. Maybe we'll do some purple for the feet. And this part right in the middle here, so like this whole section can be purple. Usually spend them on hydrate and posture checks. I see, I see. Well, I always appreciate those, so thank you. In fact, speaking of. Red Banshee, you're about to get another box of nerdy goodies. Irdle, it's a rainy Valentine for you. I hear Logan freaking out downstairs, and I don't know what he's fre like freaking out in a good way. I wonder if he's got more birthday presents arriving early. That's been happening a bit lately from family that live far away that are mailing in birthday presents. And we're letting him open them as soon as they come in. He doesn't have to wait. Okay. So we've got purple there. And maybe just regular blue. Down here. I feel like sometimes you really have to cake this on. So this is the Valentine that was sponsored by Chris Bray. Thank you, Chris, for your donation. Appreciate you. We need a Lobster Man superhero. <laughs> Maybe he's super excited about the lobster, yeah. We're getting another Pineapple Express this weekend. I know, I heard. I heard. Let me do white for the teeth again. Here we go. Very nice. 
That's pretty cute. I like him. I like him. Yeah, Zia would like, so the goodie box costs so much because the shipping is usually very expensive. So I can't afford to do it all the time. So it is a more hard to claim reward. More high value reward, if you will. All right, I'm going to go over some of these blue spots because they're fair enough. Yeah. Red Banshee says, but worth it. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay. Yay. Another Valentine complete. We have three of them complete so far. I'm going to check back in with Geeky Hearts now on the white paper. Oh, it looks so cute. Looks so cute. All right. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, everybody, for your amazing donations. Whoa, I missed some. Hold up. Holy cow. Disco Cobra says, I love supporting these types of things. Yay. And Disco Cobra, you said doing things for the youngsters out there. Uh, Trish is a great streamer. You're so nice. And you donated for a new monitor for a go-kart and a new video game for a go-kart. Amazing. Trojan Blade, thank you so much for your donation as well. Appreciate it, my friend. And you got a controller for a go-kart. Yay, that's amazing. Look at all this good everybody's doing. It makes my heart so happy. Thank you. All right, Disco Cobra, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. All right, the only little one we haven't done so far is this guy. So we're going to move forward. Keep going on our stream. With this friendo. Now let's see, maybe I could talk Logan into coming in and painting one of these for one of the kids. That could be fun, right? Okay, this one's going to be very Valentine's-ish. So we're going to start with a pink heart in the middle. And I want to make it really pink. Yeah, I hear Logan just cackling down there. He's having a great time. And here we'll have the socks be pink as well. Okay, pink socks, pink heart, maybe a pink nose. Zio Alexo says, wait, do you donate and get a prize? I don't understand. Uh, you don't donate to get a prize for yourself. You donate towards something. So the rewards are set up right now. If you donate $30, that'll get a new video game controller for a go-kart for uh, a go-kart. If you missed a little earlier, are these really awesome video game stations on wheels that Gamers Outreach makes to wheel around into different hospitals. So the kids who are dealing with extended hospital stays have a little bit of a break. It's really, really lovely. Or if you want to sponsor one of these Valentines, we can customize one together on stream exactly how you'd like it. And then it'll be from you to the kids. So some people are choosing to help out with equipment for the go-karts today. Some people are choosing to sponsor a Valentine today. All of it is welcome. Okay. So that's all the pink. Let's go ahead and do some yellow. I feel like the yellow with the pink could look really pretty. This yellow color just works so well on these. So we're also going to do yellow little antenna. really hard to get it around this heart. I should have done the heart second again. I should learn from my prior mistakes. Okay, I think that's good. Yellow around there. We could also have yellow arms on this friend. Yeah, 
Yellow arms are great. Zeolex, so you know what I said earlier, if you want to participate and financially now is not the right time, if you can retweet the announcement tweet that I did for today's stream and maybe bring somebody else in here or just spread the word about it, that would be awesome. That's a great way to support today. Or just follow Gamers Outreach on their socials. That's helpful too. Okay. Thank you, GK, for linking the Twitter. Um, and we will also do the yellow. I, you know what? I'm not going to do yellow shoes. I feel like this friend is really unique and maybe has purple shoes, even though the whole rest of them is going to be blue, I've decided. Purple shoes. And yes, the whole rest of them will be blue today. Filling in with some blue. There we go. I had a photo shoot today earlier, everybody, for Amazon. You know I do a lot of hosting for Amazon for a variety of their different shows like Tri Tech Live and Best Deals of the Week and sometimes they do their toy gift guides. Anyway, they wanted us to all get some new photos done, probably to use in thumbnails and the like. Um, so we got some new photos done today. And it was funny, just as I was arriving to the photo shoot, Albert was leaving. So for those of you who watch the Amazon streams, you know Albert. So I got to see Albert for a little bit today. And yesterday we had our fitting because they got us clothes for this photo shoot. Um, we don't get to keep them, sadly, but we got to be photographed in them. And yesterday for my fitting, I saw Emil, who I get to work with sometimes on Amazon, too. So it was fun. Hi, Sharpfire45. Thank you so much for the resub. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day, P.S. Weech. Good to see you. But yeah, it was great to see my Amazon host friends in the flesh, as I like to say. Because I always see them online, but we rarely get to see each other, if ever, in person. In fact, that was the first time I might have ever been in the same place as Emil at the same time. Because we usually just co-host online from our home studios. So that was cool. All right, I already see this arm over here. The yellow part's going to need some extra love. Okay, that looks good. In the flesh, Critter Nation, yes. Yeah, I didn't know how long the photo shoot was going to take today. I think I was supposed to be done at 2.30, which we didn't. We ended at like 2.40. Traffic was just a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Anyone else have fun Valentine's Day plans? Are you like going out with friends or anything? Murder Mystery uh, Dinner Theater at a Science Center is awesome. That was Lucas's that Lucas shared a little earlier. That was very cool. Nope, Critter Nation, for you, you're hanging out with us. Hanging out, making Valentine's Day crafts for kids in the hospital. More yellow, more yellow. Chicken wings and beer, major man eater, that sounds awesome. Chicken wings and beer is a Valentine date for yourself, and I love that. I'm here for that. I'm going to give this monster yellow teeth. Okay, this 
one blue part really doesn't want to Okay, feeling pretty good about this guy. Maybe I'll do a little bit more pink. Strawberries and cream moonshine? Whoa, Red Banty. Albert says wheat thins and port wine cheddar. Oh, I love this. Wings, beer, and gaming on my new PC, Major Man Eater. That is a date. I can tell you folks, even certain Valentine's days, when I was like, Seeing someone, I still planned my own Valentine. There was one person I was seeing, this was many, many years ago. Trust me, it was not Nate. <laughs> um, but one person I was seeing that just did not want to plan Valentine's Day. And I was like, well, I want to do something for Valentine's Day. So, like, I made dinner reservations and planned a date, um, which is fine. But I was like, I should have just taken myself. I shouldn't have even invited him to a company. Oh, push the fancy button. All of the victory fanfare for everyone and their chicken and beer and PC games, all of it. All of it. I love it. All right, let me go ahead and check in with our donations. Thank you, everybody. Again, thank you, Disco Cobra, for the very generous donation. You're amazing, and I appreciate you. All right, so we're going to let this friendo dry. And I'm going to bring back in Geeky Hearts. And we'll do our, our little hanger part for it. So I probably should get scissors. Do I have scissors? Yes, I do. Or are they already pre-cut? It doesn't look like they are. It doesn't look like they are. So I'm just going to cut them here. And we'll do, we'll open the bag of little gems. Put it through like so. And then we'll put our gems on. He's so cute, I know. So here's our little gems. Maybe like, man, thank goodness I have my glasses on. Yeah. Mm, there it is. There's the next one. We've got green, pink. Do we have a purple? I feel like a purple would go nice real, right here. Green, pink, purple. That's what we'll do. Green, pink, purple. A little pattern for this friend. And then I'll have to do some on the other side too to make it even and then we'll tie it. Unless, no, no, stop it. I don't have enough room to work on this desk. No, they're going everywhere. Thank goodness the paint is mostly dry. Green, that's the paint I feel when I'm trying to build a Lego kit on my desk, right? It's tough sometimes. Oh, thank you, Geeky. I know sometimes I forget to wear my ring. I just happen to have it on today for the Amazon shoot. But yeah, sometimes I forget to wear it. 
It's honestly, it's a little big for me. You'd think in all the years Nate and I have been married, I would have, like, gotten it fixed so it doesn't rotate and stuff like that. But someday, maybe for the 10-year wedding anniversary. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, that was a blue. So here we go. So we got a couple of those. And then I'll just tie it tight here so it can hang up. Should we put more on it than that? Maybe we should. We do have a lot of these. So I think I'm going to finish up the Valentines that we have. Unless someone sponsors another Valentine, then we'll start on a new one. But otherwise, I think I'm going to finish up the ones we have. How can I tie this? I was gonna try to like do it around my finger, but it's honestly too slippery. Snap of light, thank you so much. Here, maybe I can do it around my finger, come on. I think what I'm learning is I needed to make this string a lot longer because it's a little tricky to work with. Get in there. Get in there. There we go, finally. Okay, so here we go. Ta-da! That's Kiki Hearts Valentine, ready to go. I love him. I love him so much. All right, the next one we did was Vegeta's. This was Vegeta's little Valentine guy. So cute. All right, let me make it a little bit longer this time. Because we've got this string. According to a YouTube video, you can put a piece of rolled up duct tape on the inside to make the ring fit better. I bet you could. I don't think I'm going to do that, but. No, I'm going to take it to a jeweler near here and ask them very nicely if they wouldn't mind fixing it for me. I think the other thing that they can do if you take it to a jeweler is they can put like, first of all, they could get these so they're stuck together so they so this doesn't turn. Um, and then they can also put like little knobs or like little bumps on the inside to make it fit you better too. You had yours welded at a jeweler's red banshee? Yeah, that makes sense. I've seen friends of mine do that and it worked out great. Okay, looks like, what should we make this guy? Maybe pink and white? Or any color? I don't know. I'm going to hold the bottom part just in my hand. But I guess I can't really. It's a little easier to do that if I hold the bottom part in my hand. But then I guess then I put it through and do the other side. This is by far the hardest part of this craft, y'all. Hey, Ham Zone. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for being here today. So I'm just going to put this right through here. And then we'll put some on the other side. Be good to go. Get in there. So hard to see what I'm doing, even with my glasses on. 
I need one more on this side. Just whack your fingers real good. <laughs> you know, I don't know how I didn't think of that earlier. <laughs> no Botox in the finger? How would you put, who would put Botox in their finger? That is a wild, wacky adventure you've suggested. Okay, now it's easier to tie because I made the top a little longer. Someone would, you think? Okay, here we go, Vegeta. Very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, before I cut off the rest of this, I'm just going to tie it much tighter. And you know what? Just for another layer of safety so it doesn't come undone, we're going to do one more. If I can do it, if my... Hands aren't too sweaty. There we go. Now I can take these and there we go. Awesome. Yay. Thank you. All right, Geeky Heart and Vegeta's. Let's do Chris Bray's right here. Oh, I just put my hand in the paint. I knew it was going to happen. Mm -mm -mm. It mostly came off. Mm-hmm. That one part was a paint in the neck, but um KP dubs. Okay, here we go. With our next beaded hanger. It's bound to happen when you work with paint. What if I got paint on the ring? That wouldn't be ideal. I do have a little um, jewelry cleaner that my college roomie got me one year, I think as a Christmas present. Okay, so we'll put that on one side. And then do the other side. Oh, Irtle says it's just a few days too early to donate, so we'll try next week. Hey, you know what? That actually brings up a great point, Irtle. I always leave these charity donation links and stuff up for a while after the stream. So if anyone wants to donate after the fact, you are more than welcome to. That's three blues in a row. Let's pick a different color. Maybe one more. Ah, uh, Geeky Heart thinks some nail polish remover would do the trick. That's a great call. And yes, the AMD giveaway is still going on for two more days, by the way, everybody. If you didn't enter for a chance to win, please go ahead and do that. It's nearing 4 million entries. My goodness. Okay, I think my knot is not holding. <laughs> No. Ah. 
Starting over on the knot. Oh, did we get another donation? David Hale says 385 till we hit 1,000. That would be amazing. Let me see what we're at currently. Oh, are we getting a raid? Whoa, Maude and Naomi are raiding? I'm sorry. Y'all must have been streaming together. Oh, my goodness. Party balloons for some of my very best lady friends. Happy belated Galentines to both of you, Naomi and Mod. All of the balloons for your communities. Folks, I'm sure most of you already follow my dear, dear friends, Maud Garrett and Naomi Kyle. But if you do not, please go give them a follow. What were you playing? Oh, you were both playing Paul World. So many of my friends are into that game. I hope you had a great time. Um, today, welcome to the stream. Those of you who are joining here, I'll turn the party balloons off. Today, we are making Valentine's for hospitalized kids because it's Valentine's Day. And it's a nice thing to do. We're raising money for Gamers Outreach. So this is one of the Valentines that we made today. I'm currently putting a little um, hanger on it. Uh, but yeah, we're making Valentine's today for kids who are spending time in the hospital right now. Because spending time in the hospital is no fun for grown-ups and especially no fun for kids. And if you haven't heard of the charity we're donating to today, it's called Gamers Outreach. And Gamers Outreach is wonderful. They uh, want to bring a little bit of normalcy, again, to kids who are spending time in the hospital for extended stays. There's been a lot of research that shows that playing video games while you're in the hospital can help with pain relief. It can help pass the time. It can, like I said, bring like a little bit of normalcy to that time for kids. So, uh, ah, KP Doves, you are watching all three. I love it so much. I love it so much. But yeah, Gamers Outreach makes these wonderful devices called go-karts, which are perfectly made for hospitals. They're like little wheelable gaming consoles. Uh, it's a console monitor controller game setup that are perfectly made to wheel through hospitals, easy to sanitize, fit through hospital doors and all that. And um, they're wonderful. They're a charity I've partnered with time and time again. 85% um, of what is raised goes directly towards their programs. Um, so they're a really fantastic charity. And if you want to donate today, some of the things you can donate towards include, but are not limited to, let me pull them up here because I had them all spelled out. Uh, if you donate $75 or more, you can sponsor a Valentine and you can choose which colors go into it and we'll get it ready to send to a children's hospital. Um, if you donate $30, you can buy a controller for one of those go-karts. If you donate $60, you can buy a video game for one of those go-karts. $100 gets a new monitor for a go-kart. $300 gets a new console for a go-kart. $500 gets a go-kart pit stop, which means a go-kart that's already out in hospitals doing its work gets a little upgrade. And $3,500 is the amount that it takes for a brand new go-kart. So if you want like a brand new go-kart, just all from your lonesome, that's how much they cost. Or if you're just curious, that's how much they cost. But yeah, we're making, so we had a couple folks donate uh, to sponsor their own Valentines today. I made my own Valentine. Um, they aren't glass. No, they are plastic. They're plastic. But they come with like little window suction cuppies too. So here, I'll show you. Like this is one that we made. But I'm putting beads on string to be the little holders for them. And then they come with these little window suction cups too that we'll send so that kids can hang these little monsters in their windows. Because I think that would be lovely. Yeah, they're plastic for sure. They are plastic. Um, but let me see. For... <laughs> Those of you who are curious about uh, what kind of stuff Gamers Outreach does, check out this quick video. He's had hard trials that I feel like a lot of people haven't really experienced. As a little kid, that's gotta be tough. There's research to demonstrate that play helps healing time, it helps reduce length of stay, it allows them to thrive in an environment when they're faced with adversity. The 
the go-karts help make gaming possible inside hospitals. They're portable video game stations that are designed specifically to address the challenges in hospital environment. Each cart is equipped with a lift mechanism, a tray for medical equipment, a screen that tilts depending on a patient's situation, and the entire cart is manufactured with medical grade plastics. They forget about what's happening in that hospital room. They can use it to distract from a painful procedure. They use it to make the day go by faster. You've just challenged a driver. Hello, I'm Megan. Oh, nice to meet you, I'm Jerome. I understand you have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, is that right? Yeah. Well, um, I do as well. Oh my gosh. Or a back brace, stuff like that. That's pretty similar to me, actually. I have a backpack all the time with my feeding tube, along with metal braces and things. Oh, there's a corner. <laughs> I suppose what helps me is to think there's other things about me, not just the fact that I have this condition. That's awesome. What a novel and brilliant idea. A kid cooped up in a hospital room and a cart comes rolling in with a console on it and you can play games, uh, that's, that's great. The use of video and virtual reality software as therapy continues to gain momentum in the medical community. If I'm not feeling good, I get on Xbox and it gets my mind off things. I've created a community of friends that I get on and I play with every night. I'm sorry, that's just the cutest thing ever. And Oddball, thank you for your donation. Oddball, with a very generous donation, just got a console for a go-kart, and it brings, oh my goodness, it blew away the goal. Yay, victory. A oh, victory button, for sure. I had set today's goal at $750 for Valentine's Day. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Oddball, for your generous donation. That just knocked it right out of the park. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, just because we have a few minutes left, not as many as I'd like, and I just got paint all over my pants because I was so excited. I'm going to make it a nice even 1,000 as our goal. <laughs> you can't believe I just got paint all over my pants, um, but I did it. I dropped so many beads on the floor while we were watching that video. GG's, GG's. Well done, Dragon Riders, and thank you so much for your generosity today. Paint girl going to paint. I know I'm supposed to go out to dinner tonight after this with my husbando, and I'll be like, I'm sorry, I'm covered in paint. I was making valentines. For Gamers Outreach, comp side dude, thank you so much for the resub, my friend. Welcome back. Happy Valentine's Day. Paint all over my pants is a new metal band. <laughs> Here, look. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you can't see them because they're black. But yes, paint all over my pants right there. But yes. Da da da! Another successful Valentine made. I'm going to set it over here to dry with the others. Oh my goodness gracious. GG means generous gamers. It certainly does. It certainly does. <laughs> Paint All Over My Pants is my Simply Red cover band name. Okay. <laughs> Folks, you are cracking me up today. Um, all right, well, we've made one of each kind of... Of each kind of Valentine. Uh, Carmelita says, are you going to drop them off on your way out to dinner? Carmelita, I'm going to mail them to Gamers Outreach, and they're going to take them to a hospital of their choosing after this. So that's why I didn't, I wanted them to be like fun for Valentine's Day, but also fun for after Valentine's Day. Because I know it's going to be a little bit after that they get them. Because Gamers Outreach has the hookup with all the right places to bring them. So we've got four that were done today and so many generous donations as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I'm going to go back to this screen for just a moment. And, oh my goodness, we got another donation. 
right there at the end. Biden. Biden and my face. Thank you both so much for your donation. Biden just got a new monitor for a go-kart as well. Bringing our total over $1,000 to $1,025 raised. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your eternal generosity. I feel like every time we do a charity campaign, I am just blown away by the generosity of this community. Thank you. Th yeah, Beertastic says love this community absolutely love this community thank you i'm going to save the rest of these valentines as either a craft to do with logan or maybe we'll do a hearts and crafts stream again next year and then i'll have them here for next year as well thank you all so much now normally i do stream on thursdays as well but tomorrow i will not be streaming because we have a surprise for logan I did put it in my schedule graphic, so if you're in the Discord and you look at my schedule graphic, you'll see what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't want to say it out loud yet because Logan doesn't know. And I don't want him to be like standing right outside my room <laughs> and hear it because Nate and I want to tell him together. So we're taking him to a special place tomorrow. And if any of you happen to be at that special place tomorrow, just coincidentally, please say hello. Can I take you too? I wish I could. But we are going to have a blast with Little Man tomorrow. And then Friday, this Friday, I will be doing a Nintendo Weekly. So that will be dual streamed on Twitch and Amazon. And maybe we'll do some more Ring Fit. Maybe we'll play some new games. We'll discuss some Nintendo news. It'll be a great time. So that's going to be Friday at 9.30 a.m. And then Sunday, I didn't put it on the schedule that we'd have a Sunday chill stream because that afternoon is uh, Logan Man's birthday parties. Uh, normally watching you now without all day, you're closing those colors. Yes, I'm closing the colors. Did it look funny? <laughs> what I was doing? Um, but yeah, special, special place tomorrow. Nintendo Weekly on Friday. And then I'm not sure if I'll have a Sunday stream this Sunday or not. It depends how much we still have to do to get ready for Little Man's birthday party. Because Little Man's birthday party starts at 1.30. So if I have everything done ahead of time, I can go live at 10 and hang out for a little bit. But if we still have parties set up to do, that might be a little tricky. Brandon, thank you so much. Yay, I'm glad you'll be here on Friday for Nintendo time. It'll be fun. Uh, his birthday is Monday. Is his official birthday, Dante. Um, and yes, closing the colors sounds like an emo band. There you go. We have so many new band names, y'all. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you. Oh my goodness, we just got some. La oh, we just got some donations while he was talking. Distorted got a controller for a go kart, and Emmanuel just sponsored a Valentine. Well, you know what? Now the stream has to continue. We just got a new sponsor, Valentine, friends. Boop ba doo. Um, all right, Emmanuel, which monster do you want? We've got real big smile, tongue sticking out, holding a heart, or three hearts. Which monster do you want? You said my bad. That's okay. I love it. It's for the kids. Let's do it. Or you know what? It is late. If everybody has to go, the other thing we can do, Emmanuel, you said definitely holding heart. Okay, good. I was going to say, do we have an extra holding heart? But I think we do have an extra holding heart, but that's okay. We'll do another one. Because I know I painted one before. Here we go. Holding heart. You love that one. And I've got more paint brushes. Just watercolors. Go for it. All right. And yes, these paints actually do hold surprisingly well. All right, Emmanuel, what color would you like your monster to be? What color? We've got blue, purple, white, yellow, red, and pink. Do you have a preference? Look at this opening issue. I know. I'm using a box cutter to open these paints. 
I mean, it's probably good that they're airtight, though. Then the paint lasts longer, but... Emmanuel says, feeling that blue and purple with the red heart. Okay, blue and purple with a red heart. So let me open the red. There we go. Open. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do the red heart first. Love it. Okay, there's our red heart. And then we'll do, do I have? And then we'll do blue. We can do blue hands. Get enough paint on there. I hear Logan meowing downstairs, and I'm not sure why. For those of you just joining the stream, Logan is my little one. Oh, this is going to be the cutest for sure. Thank you again, Emmanuel, for sponsoring a Valentine, and thank you to Distorted for getting new supplies for the go-karts. You're amazing. Okay, we've got these blue arms. They're really cute. And we'll do blue shoes as well. Maybe we'll make his body blue and then all the accents purple. Here we go. I'm finding the more of these I'm doing, I'm getting an angle for like how much paint I need to use. Here we go. Because you kind of need to load it up with these, I'm finding. Here we go. Maybe we'll do like purple fingernails too. There we go. Hey, Junior Dax, how are you? Expert painter already? Ha ha ha. Far from it. It is very peaceful, though, I will say. Oh man, this guy's so cute already. Boop, boop. And maybe we'll make the little hearts on his antennas red as well. But I learned from last time, do the hearts after you paint the antennas, not before. Okay. Okay, so there we go on the blue. Now let me get the purple. We'll do purple eyes. Purple nose. Wait, that one eye is like way more purple than the other. Hold on, let's fix that. That looks good. And then here I said we would do purple fingernails. Boop, boop, boop. And I think purple socks too. Okay, and there's the purple socks. And then we'll do purple antennas. There we go, that looks good. And all around the heart is purple. And 
Yeah, they're not watercolors. I know someone before was like, watercolors. They're not watercolors. Okay, and now, oh, we should do purple teeth too. Purple teeth. Okay, and now we will do red for, here I'm just gonna, red for our hearts. Up here. He's beautiful! Here, I want more red on the heart in the middle. There we go. So cute. Hey, yo. Everything purple. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more purple to the antennas. There you go. And we're going to let him dry before we put beads on him. We're going to let him dry. Folks, again, massive thank you for all of your support. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope whatever you're doing today, you can spread it a little love and a little cheer. And even if your version of that is coming in here today and... Uh, Spreading the word about Gamers Outreach, following them on socials, donating if you have the means to, and again, if not, just hanging out here and putting your heart into this whole experience is perfect. So happy Valentine's Day to all. Um, again, huge congrats. Thank you all so much for not only hitting but surpassing our goal. I hope everyone has a fantastic evening, has a wonderful Valentine's Day. Treat yourself, and I will see you on Friday for a Nintendo Weekly. All right, everyone, thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friends.